there is something that is known as a marginal distribution and it works as follows. Sometimes the probability distribution of one or more of the variables alone is of interest. For example, if x1 is the number of children and x2 is the tax bracket, so the number of children could be 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Tax bracket could be 15%, 28%, 31%, or 39%. And the, the way you can think about this is, as you get more children, typically you are getting older. As you're getting older, your income generally goes up a bit. And as your income goes up, you move into a higher tax bracket. So these two random variables will probably be positively correlated. Sometimes you don't care about one or the other of these random variables and you want the distribution of x1 alone or the distribution of x2 alone and that is known as a marginal distribution. On the next slide here is the definition. For the discrete random variables x and y with joint probability mass function f of xy the marginal probability mass functions for x and y are f sub x of x is the sum over all y values of the joint probability mass function and f sub y of y is the sum over all x values of the joint probability mass function. Those are defined over the appropriate supports. For the continuous random variables x and y the joint PDF is f of x y then the marginal PDFs for x and y will be to find the marginal for x, you integrate out y, and to find the marginal for y, you integrate out x over the appropriate support. So basically, marginal distributions are a way of looking at one of the random variables all by itself.